Hi everyone, this is week 4 already. In this week, we've done two videos. The first one, we went down to San Diego uh, to cover a story about immigration again. But this time, the story is a little bit tricky because the family has been here for 17 years and they have been paying taxes, they have been volunteering and the two children have been doing really well at school. So what happened 17 years ago was that they uh, were in Colombia. The father was working for the Colombian government as a finance secretary or something. And then the terrorist group in Colombia, the FARC, um, targeted them and they wanted the father to tunnel money from the government to them. The father wouldn't do that, so they threatened... The father wouldn't do it, so they threatened them and they threatened to kidnap their children and do horrible things to their family. As a result, they came to America on a travel visa and they seeked asylum. But the case was denied because the judge felt like this case was 50% political and 50% economic. So it has to be at least 51% political to be granted asylum. And therefore, uh, for some reason, they found a conservative congressman, uh, Duncan Hunter, and he has been filing this private bill to keep them in America for 17 years. And even after he retired, his son, Duncan Hunter Jr., uh, kept helping this family. But now, since President Trump introduced this zero tolerance policy, uh, the congressman can no longer protect them and keep them in the country using the private bill. And therefore, they might be deported any second. It really struck me because they really look like good people. And they have a lot of support from their own community. The most intriguing part of this case is that the two congressmen who helped them for 17 years are against immigration and they support Donald Trump but still they want to keep them in the country which is fascinating. The second video that we did was with Paul Share. He is the writer of the book Army of None, Autonomous Weapons and the Future of War. He is the director of the Technology and National Security Program at the Center for a New American Security he is also a former U.S. Army Ranger who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Zach and Paul talk a lot about this topic, about autonomous weapon, intelligence, Paul's own experience uh, serving in Iraq and Afghanistan, and what limitations should be posed on these uh, autonomous weapons. That's basically it for week four. I will update you guys next week. See you!